I want to talk to you about two very important misconceptions regarding the anatomy of the heart. The first misconception regards the position of the heart in the chest. For over 50 years, we've operated under the impression that the heart has the same topographical orientation as the chest cavity. Now, there was never any evidence that the heart was aligned with the same orientation as the thorax. This would be analogous to claiming that a fetus in utero had to be facing forward simply because the mother was facing forward. Anatomists, pathologists, and even radiologists tried telling us differently, but no one listened. Dr. Antonio Baez de Luna, a world-renowned cardiologist and researcher, studied MRIs of the heart in living people and made a very significant discovery. He found that what we had been calling a posterior infarction was actually a lateral infarction. In his research, he noted that the heart sits almost sideways in the chest, which puts the lateral surface of the heart, and more specifically, the lateral wall of the left ventricle, adjacent to the posterior chest wall. Actually, this was more of a rediscovery, since, as I said, anatomists have been telling us this for years. What you're looking at right now is the real anatomic position of the heart in the chest. The large vessel coursing along the top right of the heart, this vessel right here, between the right atrium and right ventricle, is the right coronary artery and its branches. Now, that's not the left anterior descending artery. It's over here. You can see just a little bit of the distal portion of the LAD when you're viewing the heart in the frontal plane. Specifically, I want you to notice that there is no anterior descending artery coursing down the middle of the surface of the heart. So many times, however, the heart is depicted in illustrations in what we call the Valentine position. This is the Valentine position. Look familiar? What you should notice is that the left anterior descending artery is coursing down the middle of the surface of the heart in this view. It divides it into two sides, with the right ventricle on the right side and the left ventricle on the left side. Now, what you really must understand at this point, and listen very carefully because this is very important, what you really must understand is that the ventricles are not actually right-left structures, but instead they're anterior-posterior structures. Anterior, posterior. Although the right ventricle is slightly to the right of the left ventricle, it's unequivocally anterior to it. There is no question of that. Now, think about this for just a moment. If you're looking at a view of the heart in the Valentine position, in which the anteriorly located right ventricle is located on the right, and the posteriorly located left ventricle is located on the left, from which perspective are you viewing the heart? This could only occur if you were viewing the heart from the left side, from the left lateral side of the heart. Whenever you see an illustration of the heart in this Valentine position, you are looking at the left lateral surface of the heart, and more specifically, the left lateral left ventricle, which is right here. Now, let's look at the lateral surface uh, of the left ventricle, and let's look up here. Up here, we have the basal lateral area. Now, we used to call this the high lateral area. Does that ring a bell with high lateral infarctions? But now we call it the basal lateral area because, number one, it's lateral, and number two, it's adjacent to the base of the heart. Now, the base of the heart is that area of the heart that divides the atria from the ventricles. It runs right here. And it's opposed to the apex of the heart, which is located down here at the opposite end of the heart. This is the apex. Base, apex. Now, I want you to concentrate on this lateral left ventricle here. This is the lateral wall of the left ventricle. Now watch it carefully. Okay, 
Now where is the lateral wall of the left ventricle located now? It's located posteriorly, isn't it? So what we always considered the posterior surface of the heart is really the lateral surface of the left ventricle. Posterior infarctions are actually lateral infarctions. Now, the other anatomic misconception that I want to clarify involves the orientation of the interventricular septum. Now, let's rotate the heart back to the valentine position. When we look at the heart in the valentine position, we know that the interventricular septum runs directly beneath the left anterior descending artery. This left anterior descending artery is sending little septal branches directly down. They, they actually uh, come off at 90 degree angles to the left anterior descending artery and go directly down into the uh, interventricular septum. They provide the blood supply to the uh, upper two thirds of the interventricular septum. Uh, if we could see the septum directly in this view, we would be looking at the top of it, end on. But since the heart is not really in the valentine position, we are really looking at the right side of the septum with the heart in the true anatomic position. The septum is almost parallel to the frontal plane. Now consider this. The septum, the interventricular septum, is also the anterior wall of the left ventricle. Now that's right, it's the most anterior surface of the left ventricle. The great cardiologist and electrocardiographer Leo Shamroth recognized this fact many years ago and spoke of it in his textbooks. Dr. Shamroth was one of the preeminent pioneers in electrocardiography. So to reiterate, when you look at the surface of the heart in the valentine position, and this is the valentine position, left anterior descending artery running right down the middle of it. When you look at the heart in the valentine position, you're looking at the left lateral surface of the heart. And with the heart in the actual anatomic position, that surface faces posteriorly. Also, the interventricular septum is almost parallel to the frontal plane, not perpendicular to it. So the initial left to right depolarization vector of the mid septum is really a depolarization vector traveling more anteriorly and only slightly to the right. This is a lot of information to assimilate, I know, but you certainly will. Now let's return to the live portion of this class and I will be glad to answer any questions you may have.